Welcome back guys. Today we are going to take another look at the ATS, the automatic transfer switch. In this case we are going to add a delay when switching back to the grid or to the solar. When you have a solar or grid tight system like I have, the inverter will synchronize to the grid itself. But when the grid comes back again, this may not be the case and you may be switching directly to the grid from the solar system. If you do it that way you may experience a spike causing your electronics to fail. Today we are going to add a timer or a delay to that system to make sure that you cannot switch back and forth without a delay. So let's take a look at the system. So basically we have the system here now again. Let's prevent that this one here is the solar and this one over here is the grid. So basically if we turn off the grid it will switch automatically to the solar system because the solar system is currently set as the backup system where the grid is the primary. If we switch the grid back on the system will switch back to the grid again. This can be changed by this lever here. So now basically this one don't do anything because this one is primary. So if we switch this one off it will go to the other node. So basically, if you're running your solar inverter on the grid itself, when both are running fine, you will see that your inverter will synchronize to the grid. And the reason for this is because the inverter needs to be able to actually switch between the grid and the inverter output. If it doesn't synchronize with the frequency of the grid, you will get big spikes on your output. So what we want to do today is to hook up a system that when you switch off this system here it goes to the solar but when you switch it on again it needs to be delayed. Because if it's not delayed your inverter that is between those two systems will not be able to actually synchronize the frequency. So I have this delay switch here and this is a rather simple delay switch I would say. It's powered on one side it can be powered by DC or AC and on the outside you have a relay that will do what you want. On the top here you will set the interval to whatever you want. Then I currently have set for 1 second times 5. So that means it will be delaying for 5 seconds. 5 seconds for my inverter is good enough. So how do we hook this in now? So basically if we want this one here, the black cable, to be the one that goes for grid and want to be delayed. This should be of course be added on both sides but today we are adding it here. Then we need to remove your power because your power will be powered by this one. And we are also going to hook this bypass. So what we do is we power this relay or timer from the actual grid. And now we have the neutral added up, we also need the power incoming to be added up. So we add that to this here. So we now have this relay hooked in, in such a sense that it will be powered from this cord. So let's try it out and see that it works. So let's turn it on. It got power, it's blinking because of the timer. And there it switched on. That's the delay we want. The reason why I took this neutral here going on the other side is because this one is what we want to be able to terminate from the contactor. So we now have it here. So let's hook this, hook this up into the place where we had it before. So let's see how this works now. So if we turn this on. You'll see that we have a 5 second delay before the contactor turns off. So let's go to the next one. So basically, this is in priority mode now. So let's turn it off. And we can see that it instantly switches to the solar system. Let's pretend that the grid comes back on again. It now has a delay of 5 seconds to make sure that the solar inverter can synchronize to the grid before we actually switches your load away. Note that when you do this you need to make sure that the power that goes through 
also are always are in line with your inverter so the inverter actually can synchronize because if you tie your inverter after this contactor here the inverter will not see the grid until this re the relay is actually triggered so I hope you enjoyed this video I have also attached a diagram or a drawing on how this was hooked up in my case on my webpage on my webpage you can find the links down below or somewhere here if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a big thumbs up otherwise I will see you next time and if you have any questions regarding this please put them down below so once again guys thank you for watching and I see you next time